mysteriums. Mary McKnight here with Service Dog Academy and Diabetic Alert Dog University. It is Medical Alert Dog Monday and we are here to answer your, or I am here to answer your questions about medical alert dog training and medical alert dog purchases. So uh, as you know, each episode we start out with a socialization item and this week's socialization item is aquariums. <laughs> so. Uh, it's really important that your dog get used to aquariums because you just never know where you're gonna find one. Like say your doctor's office or Chinese restaurants. <laughs> Uh, and your dog needs to know that that fish that's swimming by him is not going to jump out of that tank and get him. <laughs> so make sure you get your dog around possibly large aquariums or uh, even small ones would, would help a little bit. <laughs> so. Uh, they're all over the place now. A lot of people have aquariums in their homes, so it's really important that you get your dog used to looking at fish swimming around in the water. This week's question comes from Gabby from Kansas City, Missouri. She says, Hi, my name is Gabby and my mom has had migraines for the past two years. How would she benefit from having a service dog? You know, Gabby, this is actually a really, really good question because a lot of my materials actually on the web, they deal with diabetic alert. They don't necessarily deal a lot with medical alert dog training, the other types of medical alert dog training like epilepsy, narcolepsy, and migraines. So I'm glad that you asked this question because it gives me a chance to start to address some of these uh, issues that, that you're having and you're wondering what in the world a service dog is going to be able to do to help you. So I'm going to fix that problem of lack of materials today. To answer your question, there are a number of different benefits that can come from having a medical alert dog that is trained to alert to migraines. The first and foremost is the obvious thing. It's trained to alert you prior to the migraine. So alerts can be between 1 and 30 minutes prior to a migraine. Some of our students have had like an hour prior to a migraine, can't guarantee that. What that allows you to do is either prevent the migraine in the first place or reduce the impact the migraine has on your life on that on that day. So what I mean by that is that it can either be a level 10 pain day <laughs> where you're uh, vomiting and have light sensitivity, or it can be a level three pain day where you just have some upset stomach. So that can be the difference between uh, getting your medication in early and getting your medication in at the start of the migraine. Additionally, an alert one to 30 minutes prior to your migraine will also allow you to get to a safely location to have your migraine. I'm sure you're going, what do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is that uh, I actually have migraines myself and uh, I actually have a visual aura that I have. have it's like a rainbow fan. I, I can't describe it. I don't, it's like a psychedelic 60s you know, pop band um, music video, but uh, it, it envelops my vision so I can't drive. So what this could potentially do is it could prevent you from having to, you know, sit in a hot car on a 95 degree day off the freeway while you are waiting for someone to come and pick you up and drive you home because you can't see. So, uh, that is a really good benefit in my, my eyes. For those of you with hemiplegic migraines, uh, if you don't know what that was, I'm, I'm glad that you don't, but uh, for those of you who have hemiplegic migraines, you know that that can cause weakness and numbness on uh, one or both sides of your body. And uh, what the alert prior to the migraine will do will allow you to get into a safe location. So if you, you know, lose your body functions and you cannot move, you're actually sitting on the ground versus just standing up straight in the air and then falling. <laughs> We'd much rather have you get on the ground, get in a safe location so that you can make sure that you aren't getting harmed by your migraine. So not only can the dog be taught to alert to the oncoming migraine one to 30 minutes prior to the migraine, but they can also be taught to retrieve your medication, to turn off the lights. As many of you know, light sensitivity is a big problem. Uh, they can also be taught to go find human help and bring them to you during the migraine episode. They can dial 911 on a dog phone, which is really cool. I don't know if you've ever seen a dog do that, but uh, they can get you help if you've fallen because of a hemiplegic migraine or something 
something has gone wrong and you definitely need help now, they can dial 911 on the phone. They can pick things up for you. <laughs> so uh, when you're nauseous, picking things up off the floor is just is the last thing you want to do. So the ability to have the dog pick things up for you is great. And then also what's cool too is that uh, like if you have hemiplegic migraines, they can also brace you so that, that you can get up off the floor easier once your migraine is done. So, uh, but the great thing about the training that I do is that it helps you personalize the dog to your own specific needs. So if you don't need brace, fine, we don't have to train that, but uh, we can do it in the classroom. I hope that answers your question, Gabby. I'm looking forward to helping you and your mom reduce the impact migraines has on your quality of life and her quality of life as well. So what do you think of my answer? If you had a migraine alert dog, what would you train it to do? If you like this video, please like it on uh, social media and also on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. And uh, if you could share this video with your friends, that would be a great thing for, you, for us uh, because the thing is a lot of people don't know about migraine alert dogs and what they're capable of doing. So share this with your friends, please. If you would like to be notified when I post new videos or add new classes uh, or receive tips about medical alert dog training, please go to our website, go to the very bottom and get on the email list. So the bottom of the website at servicedogacademy.com or diabeticalertdoguniversity.com, you can enter your email address there and get added to the email list. If you have a question about training a medical alert dog or about purchasing a trained medical alert dog, please email me at questions at servicedogacademy.com and I will try to address them in my next video. I've just added a class to the March schedule. Uh, so if you want to train your own medical alert dog, we have a class coming up in March uh, that you can enroll in. You can call me at 206-355-9033 and we will get you enrolled in the medical alert dog class. Again, it's for diabetes, seizures, narcolepsy, and migraines. And if you're interested in experimenting with asthma alert, please give me a call. So I just want to remind you that you can change your life with the use of a task trained medical alert dog. All it really takes is time, patience, the right dog, and working with the right experienced trainer. I'm going to end this video with a quote from one of my medical alert dog students. This is a quote from a woman who has a son with hemiplegic migraines. And what she says is, if you have not considered a service dog because you don't think it's possible, think again. Clara started training at eight weeks of age. She was alerting my son before she was even potty trained. This program works. So there you go. Proof positive that uh, you can train a medical alert dog to alert to your migraines one to 30 minutes prior to the start of the migraine. Good luck. We're looking forward to seeing you and helping you become more independent with the use of a task trained medical alert dog. See you next week.